Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, we present you uh, Skydive and uh, Real-Time Network Analyzer. I'm Nicolas Planel, Principal Engineer at, uh, at Red Hat. Hi, everyone. Thanks for uh, having us today. Uh, I'm Sylvain Auchin, Principal Software Engineer at Red Hat. Uh, I've been contributing to Neutron and uh, Open Control. Yeah, okay. Tell the truth. No, is it possible to do so? Maybe. Si. No, that's right. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> okay. So, um, about the agenda of this presentation, we will uh, speak about. Uh, why we started to, to develop Skylive, uh, what is Skylive, and uh, a bit about the design and the implementation. And then we will finish by a, by a little demonstration, and we will, uh, of course, uh, answer to, to some questions. So uh, first of all, why we started Skydive? Uh, so Skydive is a network, a real-time network analyzer. It means to, be, um, uh, to, to help people to troubleshoot uh, uh, networks and uh, to, to help people to monitor their infrastructure. So why we started uh, Skydive? So um, because uh, the SDN is uh, cl a complex uh, thing and uh, troubleshooting, monitoring it uh, is uh, even more complex. Um, uh, it's quite usual to to, uh, to have some uh, issue uh, while um, uh, looking for. Uh, uh, network issues like uh, packet drops or uh, some uh, uh, performance issue. Uh, it's a bit like finding or trying to find the OpenStack logo in this picture. Um, it could be funny, but it could be also painful. Um, so, and why uh, we have this? Because uh, finally, we have a lot of uh, SDN solutions on the market. Uh, some of them are open source and some of them not. Uh, there is a different way of implementing the network or a different way of seeing what is a network. Uh, and we can have a, something like a um, nested implementation or nested deployment, like having an OpenStack Neutron, for example, with a, um, open an open delight controller or some others, with a, a container SDN implementation uh, uh, within, it, within it, like Flannel. So it's quite hard to understand exactly uh, how to troubleshoot or how to find an issue. Um, to do that, you have to, to understand perfectly uh, how the, ne the network is working, but also you have to understand perfectly how the SDN solution is implementing the network or is building the, the infrastructure. So the meaning, the interfaces, and, and so on. So, and uh, if we look at uh, uh, a bit deeper inside um, uh, why we have these, uh, such uh, uh, issues, uh, it's because we have different way, or different point of view of the implementation, for in finally, for the SDN uh, solution. We have uh, different uh, implementation in terms of management, meaning configuration, for example. Um, we have the different point of view of what is a network, what is a subnet, what is a virtual router. Uh, this is the same thing for the control plane. We have a different way to implement the, the control plane part, uh, meaning a different way to, to, uh, to use protocols. Like we, have, we know that we, we have a control plane implementation based on OpenFlow, uh, XMPP, BGP. Sometimes we have a, uh, a mix of them. Uh, this is almost the same thing for the data plane. We have uh, some solution based on VLAN, VXLAN, uh, GRM, PLS, and so on. And same thing for the data pass, finally. Uh, we have different way of implementing the, uh, this kind of things. So it's quite hard to understand exactly how to troubleshoot when we have an issue. Uh, we really need to, to, to understand perfectly how the, the, control, the SDN controller is, um, is finally uh, implementing all this stuff, uh, meaning the configuration, the, the control plane, and the data plane. So um, to when we de decide to design this uh, solution, the Skydive, we uh, would like to do to troubleshooting. So we ask us uh, ourselves uh, the question like, uh, where are the packets are dropped or fragmented, or the problem occurred, like uh, a choke point in the, on your networks? So that is usually very uh, uh, bad things. 
and uh, what packet layer pass, uh, what the packet layer pass could be in the network at the point, we didn't know, so we need to use uh, some tools. Uh, you want to be easy to to, to uh, answer this kind of question, like a number of flow on these links, what the tenants uh, do on the on the network, uh, if you uh, have DDoS attacks or etc. Um, so today, yeah, we have toolbox to uh, debug the OpenStack network, but uh, it's like uh, using IP routes, OVS, VCTL, ETH should be RCTL, etc., uh, and so forth. Uh, it's quite complicated because it's like uh, doing doing uh, debugging troubleshooting by hands, and it's quite quite painful uh, when this happens on the networks, and especially when there's uh, isolation, etc. Um, so what we need, we decide to uh, select a few points, like uh, uh, a solution that the flow centric, so that uh, whatever uh, packets uh, arrive, we analyze the flow and uh, keep it in the in the storage. Um, easy to deploy, um, meaning like not so much uh, binaries to uh, uh, install and dependency, etc. Um, we like to be SDN ag agnostic because uh, all the solution today is like uh, um, there are a few. Um, of a lot as uh, Sylvain present you uh, uh, for uh, SDN solution. I uh, would like to be non-intrusive or light, um, lightweight, um, aim as well to not uh, kill your performances on the runtime, on the like on the on the on the platform, and obviously we like Open API and the connectors to uh, current SDN. Um, so we decide to uh, divide the solution in uh, two parts, like uh, the topology probe and the flow probes, uh, and the analyzer. Um, basically, the topology is like to record uh, what events, the new ports that will be spawned somewhere in the, on the network, uh, like interfaces or bonding, retrieves or MTU or metadata. And the flow probes um, are here to, to uh, get the packets. It could be sampling from uh, different protocols. Uh, we would like to on demand on the on the network at some at some point uh, of the network we would like to record and do some filtering uh, to get back the uh, underlay overlay uh, information on the on the packets. And the the um, the brain of the solution is the analyzer that we uh, uh, we we'll talk talking more in details after, but uh, it's like uh, the mapping between the flow and the topology, um, and to aggregate all, uh, all, all the probe information um, and do post analysis. So the agent, um, topology G or float agent, uh, is based on the graph engine uh, for the topology and populated by uh, all the, the, um, uh, sort of the binding, like on NetLink, NetNS, OVSDB, um, ETH, ETH tool, etc. The flow uh, are based on the storage internally and the flow-centric way by your flow table in the memory, but we'll and, and do the mapping locally of the flow and topology on each agent. Um, all the information will be further sent to the analyzer um, packet can be today um, supported by your S flow, so you analyze the packet from the S flow or from pickups. So skydive analyzer, the brain, um, the aggregation of all the events are just uh, 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 all the point of uh, the topology and the flow probes, and do the analysis pipeline uh, that we decide to. Um, um, uh, to do and store it in the database like Elasticsearch. But uh, everything is open API, so you can change uh, uh, easily uh, the storage or one components. So the skydive use case is uh, usually that what we want to do, like uh, we designed, we designed for, uh, for to, re to reply to this solution, uh, is detection of uh, common configuration events, like uh, for example on the security group, you can detect that your packets are dropped by uh, the rules. Uh, it could be like detection of live network issue on the bad performances or DDoS, as you can see, like you can have a, a, a kind of attacks because you see a lot of uh, flow on the tenants. Um, you can have possibly have a capture traffic at any point of the, tr of the topology of your uh, uh, OpenStack or your network. 
and the, um, you can have a, a post-mortem analysis because we store all the information in the flow table on the Elasticsearch database. So you can uh, ask, uh, um, do some query on the database afterwards to maybe see what happens at 4 a.m. on the networks, why my VM didn't boot correctly and didn't uh, have the network correctly, set up correctly. Um, detection of bad application as well. Uh, perform you can see, detect the performances of the application by the RTT, uh, run read time, or uh, the kin other kind of inf information that you can uh, uh, conclude by the analysis of the database. So let's jump. So okay, I'm, I'm going to start the, the demo. Um, just a few minutes. Okay, so for this demo, um, uh, this is a recorded demo, and we, we have cut some part uh, uh, to, to have it uh, a bit uh, shorter. Uh, but um, in order to start this demo, we have this is a, a two dev stack demo. Uh, one is a full dev stack, meaning a, a Neutron, Nova, and so on, uh, and a, a compute. And uh, the second one is just a compute. Uh, and um, okay, let's start. So. So first, in order to, to have SkyDive running with your dev stack, you just have to, to put two lines in your local.conf uh, file. One is to enable the plugin, and the other one is to enable the component of uh, SkyDive, so meaning uh, the analyzer or the agent. So we have on the full dev stack the analyzer and the uh, agent, and of course on the only the dev stack with the compute node, which is the compute node, we have only the, um, the agent. Um, so both has, have start, uh, is, uh, are started. And now we can, uh, once uh, your dev stack is running, uh, you can go through the, uh, the SkyDive uh, web UI. And you will see that um, SkyDive detected uh, all the uh, already uh, uh, set up uh, interfaces, meaning in the case of uh, a, a neutral deployment, uh, the classical bare tune and uh, bare X and uh, bare, uh, bare int. Um, pointing your mouse on over the interfaces pr that are present, you can have some details on the right. Uh, like uh, the MTU and the status of the interface and so on. So now we are going to create some uh, neutron resources, like a network, uh, to start, and of course a subnet. Um, and since uh, once uh, the subnet is created, neutron is going to create uh, uh, the uh, physical resources or um, the resources, uh, the network resources, in order to to implement the, uh, the subnet, meaning a DHCP and so on. And if we go back to the uh, to the SkyDive web UI, you can we can see that um, the resources are created or reflected uh, as well. So we have a, a namespace, and we have a, an interface, which is a, a, um, an open base switch internal interface. And we have some, um, since we, we enabled the, the Neutron connector, we are able to retrieve uh, uh, extra information from Neutron, meaning uh, uh, the tenant ID and the network ID and so on. Um, and if we, yeah, that's it. So now we are going to create a, a router. And I think we are going to, to attach uh, the, r the router just created to, uh, to the um, private network we just created before. And once we will have done, done that, uh, Neutron will will going to create the, the namespace associated to, to this uh, router and SkyDive uh, uh, detect the, the the change, so we have a, a new namespace for the for the router with the the classical QR interface uh, connected to the to the uh, integration bridge uh, uh, already there, and we have the almost the same information that we uh, that we saw previously, uh, the tenant ID and so on. We can also see that uh, the the VLAN is uh, reported, uh, meaning the local VLAN of uh, of the local OpenV switch. 
Um, we may want to, to have a, a local view, meaning uh, uh, be focused on one specific node, and we can do that um, by requesting, by uh, uh, browsing the, the URL of uh, the uh, one specific agent. Um, and the, yeah. So now, now we are going to, to attach the, uh, the virtual router to the public network. And we should have some normally the uh, um, another interface uh, connected to the BRX uh, uh, bridge, and that's that's what we have. And as previously, you have all the details on the right, and so you can see precisely with a good precision what what uh, has been implemented by uh, by Neutron. Um, since we, we, we used a, a flat network for this uh, deployment, uh, there is no VLAN reported uh, in the metadata for, si for this interface. So now we are going to, to boot a VM on the first uh, dev stack. <laughs> it's a bit long, <laughs> a bit painful to to enter uh, availability. No, this is a subnet. Uh, we are going to create an, a second one. It will be faster than this for this one. Yeah. Yeah, created. So uh, going back to the interface, we are going to see what uh, uh, Nova is going to do uh, and Neutron. So finally, we, we said that we have a tap, uh, we have a, uh, the bridge, uh, the QBR, and we have, a, we have the, two v two to the two classical VOTH uh, connected to the bridge. Uh, one side of the VOTH uh, interface uh, uh, is reported as, as um, uh, to be a, a member of uh, managed by uh, by Neutron, uh, just because this is just the just this in, uh, only this system, this interface is um, associated with Neutron uh, because this is uh, the interface that uh, that Neutron uh, uh, see um, um, because they they have the the Mac used uh, by Neutron. And yes, we have the same VLAN for the for the port for the OVS port. So now, uh, b before starting the, the second uh, VM, uh, we start uh, a capture on the bare int uh, bridge on both on both sides on the node one and on the node two. And now we we are ready to to start the second VM. So as previously, we can see what is happening uh, um, on the skydive side. So same thing, we have the, all the details on the right uh, for the tap, for the bridge, uh, for the VATH, and for the port, and so on. So now we are going to use uh, the Skydive client in order to check that uh, uh, we have the, the, the probe uh, for the flow capture the, um, already uh, there. So we are, we, are, we are just exporting two variables uh, in order to, uh, to set the credentials. Um, we have a connector to Keystone, so this is uh, the same credential uh, that the Keystone is using. And we can see that we have only one binary for the for the client, 
for the analyzers and for the agent. So yes, um, just um, um, getting the result of uh, uh, the capture list, and we see that we have two props started. And now if we go to uh, Elasticsearch, uh, we can see that we, um, we, we have captured uh, some, uh, some flows. And we can see w that we have uh, the, the prop path, which is uh, where the, the flow has been captured. And we have uh, where the flow has been uh, um, uh, generated and where the flows are going to. And we have all the metrics depending on the layer, for example, for uh, Ethernet, uh, IPv4, uh, UDP, and so on. And every time we, we can see where the packet has been captured. So we have finally, we can see that uh, the first uh, one of uh, the some packets uh, has been captured from uh, the node 2 and some, some others from the node 1. Uh, since we, we started two, uh, two probes. And if we go back to the, to the uh, web UI, uh, you can have the same, infor uh, the same information, uh, pointing your mouse to the, uh, to the interfaces where you, you, you have uh, started uh, the capture. So this is uh, the exactly the same information. Uh, So now, uh, w before generating some other traffic, we are going to start another capture, but uh, not on the OVS bridge, but uh, on the bridge, uh, the Linux bridge uh, used uh, by Node 1 to, to connect the, uh, the, the VM. So we are going, now we, we are connected to, the, to one VM and we are pinging uh, uh, the second one. And after a few seconds, uh, the flow table uh, should have been updated uh, the Elasticsearch database, and we should be able to, to find our flows uh, on the on the Elasticsearch database. So uh, we are going to, to specifically uh, search for uh, ICMP v4 uh, packets, and we can see that we, we have some we have three flows, uh, two for the uh, for the capture for the uh, OVS bridges, and one for the captures for the for the Linux bridge. And uh, as previously, we can see that uh, uh, we have the prop path, so where the packet uh, has been captured. And if you want to have uh, another another point of view, we can go through the conversation uh, um, uh, interface, and we have uh, uh, we can see how uh, the the VM are exchanging packets and from where and uh, uh, where where the packets are, are going. Uh, we have a connector to to, to Docker. And starting a, a container to um, a MySQL, MySQL uh, container, uh, we can see that we, we have the, the container detected as a namespace with a little picto for Docker. And, and since, since uh, this is a Docker uh, con uh, connector, we have some information coming from Docker, like the image ID and, and so on. And I think that's it for the demo. Okay, I'm going to speak a bit about the uh, uh, SkyDive roadmap. This is very uh, short-term uh, roadmap. Uh, we want to address uh, um, a lot of things and uh, more than uh, uh, what we we have listed uh, on this uh, on this slide. So, uh, in the next few months, we we want to add more connectors, more uh, more way to capture the topology, meaning maybe uh, more uh, SDN connectors. Uh, we want to add to add more way to capture the traffic and more way to, to filter the traffic. Uh, currently, we, we there is no mechanism to filter the traffic uh, at uh, the agent uh, side, but we want to add this uh, in order to, uh, uh, to have a lower impact on the performances. Uh, of course, we want, to have a, uh, we want to add more protocols uh, on the analysis side, uh, and we want to improve a little bit uh, the security. Um, we have currently a connector to to to, uh, to Keystone, 
and we are able to to have uh, an authentication me mechanism between the the analyzers and uh, and uh, the agents. Uh, but we want to add a, a, an airbag mechanism to have a, a different kind of uh, users uh, using Skydive, and we want to add a, an SSL layer on the between the communication, especially for the packet forwarding between the the agents and the analyzers, and we want to to provide a way to anonymize uh, IPs for security reasons, of course. Um, I couldn't stop this this uh, this meeting this uh, this presentation uh, without saying that we are an open this is an open source project. Uh, we are open to to any uh, contribution. It could be uh, a code, it could be uh, use cases, or just a, a bug report. Uh, um, whatever you you can you can you, you can you can do, uh, it could be nice. And I think that's it. If you have some questions. Uh, there are two mics. Do you have any plans for on-demand tests? For instance, things like ping, trace route, or iperf? Okay, yeah. um, today we didn't select, but we can add uh, some uh, whatever prob flow probes. Um, uh, on the solution, uh, IPF uh, is um, just the tools to see the connect uh, to generate the client-server connections. Uh, so you can you can really, really see the packets as a TCP or UDP uh, session of flow on the flow table, and of course we will see that in the Elasticsearch. Do Do you mean you want to generate? Uh, the idea was to generate uh, traffic in order to. Yeah, sorry. Yes, exactly. I'd like to generate traffic to measure that traffic. And so, okay. So you um, want you want to be able to generate traffic and to be capture the traffic in order to to see if there is any latencies or some. some yes, or perhaps yeah. get statistics about it. Like uh, with iperf, it would be you know total throughput. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's uh, that that could be a good use case. Uh, I have a question about the performance test. Uh, as you mentioned, you have used uh, PCAP or something. As far as I know, PCAP is really a, a bad performance in Linux. And uh, the one thing is data plan performance. Another thing is the control plan performance. Uh, I have seen the well, the graph, the UI is very perfect. But what if the port, uh, what if we have a thousand of namespace? I mean, in our uh, deployment, the network node have many, many DHCP and uh, Router namespace. There will be more many many virtual network devices. What if the so many devices input to the UI? What's the performance? Okay, for for the, for the performances, we have uh, finally we have we have two kind of props currently. We have pickup. Okay, for the bad performances, we we are going to work on more way to as I said before, we are go going to to work on more way to capture the traffic. And we are going to finally um, only the agent is seeing the traffic, not the analyzer. So only a part of the traffic finally, um, the only the the flows are forwarded to the analyzer, so on not all the traffic. Uh, what was the second part of the, your question? Uh, we we have a second uh, way to capture the traffic, which is the uh, S flow. So we have m this is m more a simple way uh, to retrieve the traffic, so it's cost uh, cost less. Uh, for the way we are, yes, we are going to improve it because it currently, it's yeah, of course. And we are, we are pro going probably to add a, a way to filter uh, what is uh, uh, what is shown on on the on the web UI. Like, uh, okay, I want just I uh, just want to to see uh, the interfaces for this specific tenant or this specific attribute with this specific attribute. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of a related question, really. What, what kind of scale have you guys tested this at so far? I mean, we're aware of this project before the summit, and we're, we're pretty interested in using it on our public cloud. So it'd be interesting to see what, what, you know, what kind of scale you've tested it at so far. Uh, today, the Skydive is a, is, a, is a project. It's not a project today. So uh, we... Uh, we didn't scale, uh, we didn't do tests today so for scaling at high, uh, high level. It's more like for testing, I've, uh, we prefer to 
add uh, all the features that we prefer, and we'll see what the bottlenecks are will be after. But we designed in the thinking where, um, obviously, where, where could be the, 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 the bottlenecks. For example, we didn't send the packets from the agents to the, to the analyzer directly. It's like we analyze on the agents, like getting flow tables, and obviously the data sent to the analyzer are a lot less than the, a lot of packets. Other question? Okay. Thank you very much.